best marine vibes uh, so today's vlog i decided i'm off from work so i decided to go to the gym i haven't been to the gym for a long long time almost i think before covid so i'll be going to the gym today i'll be doing some house chores some like cleaning i'll be going to one of the pakistan store the store that we buy meat from i'll be going to the costco so yeah i hope you guys will have fun and enjoy like hanging out with me yeah Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Chance this buddy. Yeah, I think I've been feeling so heavy. Yeah, so I think we are going to enjoy. 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 So at this point of time, as you can see, we're going to the gym. So I decided to go early in the morning to the gym. And yeah, it has been so long. I haven't been to the gym for more than a year. And I I have a membership, but I haven't been able to even use the membership that I have. Yeah, it's a shame. But yeah, I'm happy that I was able to even manage to decide to come to the gym. I've been down for the couple of months. Uh, as if you're able to watch the last uh, video, I lost my mom recently, so it has been not easy for me. I've been down some days, I've been up some days, I've been feeling weak some other days, but I thank God that I've been able to realize it before it's too late, before I end up having other results because of being down for long i thank god that god have been there for me and my family have been there for me yeah so after gym i then decided to go home and prepare my best breakfast so uh, normally i don't eat breakfast but because i knew my day was going to be long ahead so i decided to make a heavy breakfast which i made some pierogies i made some hot dogs and i also co fried some eggs yeah so this is breakfast that i i can say that i used to like repress lunch because the way my day was going to be it was going to be hard for me to have time to cook lunch so i decided to just make a heavy breakfast that i enjoy off i have a lot to do because i know if i don't do them on time or if i don't do them when i'm off the next time i'll be off it's like another two three days so when i'm off i always use my time wisely and my time useful and my tea is just simple tea i just used green tea and honey Whenever you are going through a uh, lowest moment, always be close uh, to God. Ask God for guidance because only God can understand you. People around you, yes, they can try to understand you, but deep down inside your heart is only God who can understand you so yeah so i've been close to god i've been crying to god i've been trying to understand everything that is going around my life and around my situation i've been going through um, with the circumstance of losing my mom because as a young girl as a young child we always have this big vision that we want our mom to see our kids our grandkids and 
to be there when we are on top but god knows best and god loved my mom more than i do or my father does so yeah i thank god that i'm even able to know this or to understand this so please if you're also going through this like me give me the advice in the comment tell me what i should do to keep my energy going every day when i'm down or like what do you do when you are in this kind of situation or do you know anyone that is going through this situation yeah so and if you are able to reach to this point please like share and subscribe we have a lot to share but sometimes we get discouraged when we don't see people watch our video please subscribe watch and comment below so that we know that you are with us yeah at this point of time we then decided to go to the pakistan store to buy the meat yeah so this is us uh in the road so i stay in southwest of calgary so uh, the meat location is in northeast yeah so it's far is almost 23 to 20 uh 23 to 22 minutes from our house yeah so we decided to go there and we only buy meat on in this store there are a lot of stuff but we just love the location for meat only so when we buy meat we leave the location yeah so i also went to one of an african store and i was just chatting telling stories with the owner of the store I even forgot that I was recording, <laughs> that I didn't even take any video. But yeah, we had good time. So we decided to go to Costco in Southwest because it's close to our place. We just did not want to stay in Southwest, which is very far from our place. Yeah, so we went to Costco and bought everything we were looking for and I also saw the milk that I was looking for that I missed a lot. So this is us buying the milk that I missed a lot. Yeah, so I I bought the milk and I also bought the avocado. If you were able to watch the last time video, you should see that uh, I said that I don't have I didn't buy avocado in the last store. Whenever I come to Costco, I always get excited. I love shopping, whether it's food shopping or it's clothes shopping or it's hygiene shopping. I just love the word shopping. So whenever I come to Costco, I enjoy and I also love buying food, like cooked food. So they have this uh, like ready to go food this was us on the line buying food then when we were done we then decided to go home we were all tired so when i got home i just started uh, restocking the food because all i could think was just food 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 my brain was just thinking of food but because I knew if I eat before I stock the food, this food were not going to be kept. So I just decided to to stock them before I eat. Yeah, and as I was doing, I was also cooking the food for the next day. Today, today was Thursday, so I decided to cook for the next day, Friday, cause. This girl, when I'm off, I want to do everything. At this point of time, I was talking stuff in order. And yeah, when we buy meat, we always keep them in small zip lockers so that when we want to cook them, we can just grab one bag and cook it. As you can see, I bought pizza and poutine. So in my mind, I was so hungry, but... 
adding no eat all of this so i only ate one slice of pizza the poutine i kept it for the next day by the time i finished one slice of pizza i was full and tired and ready to go to bed yeah so as you can see you see me as if i'm watching something so yeah i was busy watching rwandan comedy yeah so my day was so good everything i had in plan i was able to do it yeah i thank god for the good day For spending my day with you guys i hope you have enjoyed i hope i've motivated you if you are the one of people who have been feeling down uh, about going to the gym or uh, doing your house chores or even leaving your house and going out i i know sometimes we can all feel down but yeah let's motivate each other yes uh May God bless you if you are able to reach to this point. May you continue to be the light in the darkness. In Jesus' name.